Hello chaps and chapesses, and today I'm fishing on the Kennet again. I have another opportunity to come down here, so I'm very excited. come down to a bridge down here and there are some very big fish just hanging in just down here and I don't think they've seen a fly for a while so I'm going to give that a crack. Yes! Yes! Wow! Whoa! <laughs> Sprightly fish. It's going to be tricky to land in here. Don't stay out of the weed. No, don't get stuck in there, don't get stuck in there, it's fine. Come on, come on. Yes! Beautiful, beautiful fish. Really lovely fish. I'll have him back quickly. There you go, bud. Oh, well that was a good way to start. Very exciting. I'm fishing with my father's old Hardy Marquis reel, which I've had refurbished. Oh, I do love that noise. So as for last year, um, I've very kindly been invited to come and fish down here on the Kennet. I'm really excited. It's, uh, it's the middle of July and we're into nymph fishing again. I don't often get a chance to get out and fish the Kennet and I do love it so much. It's so very different to the river systems that we have um, down where I am. There's an enormous amount of water to fish down here. So uh, I've walked down to the bottom of the beach. I fished under the bridge down there, which was really exciting. And now I'm gonna work my way up the dun until I meet uh, the main Kennet. And as per last year, my rig today is the um, nine foot nine three weight Hardy Ultralight LL. It's the perfect weapon for today's type of fishing. Some of the fringe is quite grown over at this time of year and it gives me a little more reach when I'm trying to catch fish on nymph. It's just a question of working my way up the bank, spotting fish and then watching their reaction to the nymph. So we're going to have a crack at that. It's quite a hot sweaty day today. It's one of the hottest days we've had so far. It's about 28 degrees. I'm wearing a salt <laughs> shirt just to try and keep cool. But um, it is a beautiful piece of water so uh, we'll work our way up here and see what we can find. I know there's some big fish hiding in the back of this pool. Getting to them is a slightly different matter though. It's just sat at the tail of the pool there. It's gonna be difficult to get a drift here. Might do it. Chased it. Very tight circumstances. Oh no, I'm in the tree. It's not good. The kind tree, thank you. Okay, he's back on his lie. I wonder if I can get behind this tree here. Ooh, 
and moved again. I'm really struggling to see, I have to say. Oh, I've caught the smallest fish in existence. <laughs> oh, not a little aggressive chub. Chublet. Come on. Goodbye, chub. Now there is a fish holding in that big hole there. He's a big fish. He's just cruising around in there. Come on, turn on it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh, no, 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 I pulled it away from the fish. What did I do that for? He absolutely hammered it. Stupid boy. Oh, I think I blew that. No, got that one. Oh, no, no. <laughs> No! Oh, that was a beast. Just snapped straight through 6x on the take. What can you do? Well, I'm going to find another one. Oh, shit. Change fly, I think. So, I'm going with this little tungsten beaded jig pheasant tail. Did really well here last year. Give that a go. of them just hanging in this hole on the other side here. Gotcha! Yes! Finally, I managed to get one of them to eat. Oh, but he wants to go all the way over there. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh, I do love the noise of that reel. Stay out of that weed bed. Stay out of the weed bed. So strong, these fish. Looks like I'm going to have to go swimming again. God, he's not giving up though. Does he put me in the weeds? No, we're up on the surface. Grinding on the weed, no, no, oh. Come on, a bit of side strain in there, get him out of that weed bed there. You're trying every trick in the book, aren't you? It's right underneath that weed mat. Come on, fishy. Under there. Oh God. Yeah, I don't really have much to say at the moment. 
and other than help. <laughs> yes! <sighs> wow, well you gave me Pakota fight. There you go, bud. Thank you. Well, that was unbelievable. My God, that fish really made me work. Oh, little pheasant tail, beaded jig. It was lovely to hear the old girl sing. Whew. Need to catch my breath after that one. There was a whole bunch of them sat in that hole though, and they chased it and fought over it, and eventually finally one hammered it. I think I need a drink before I carry on. So there is a fish literally in that little pocket of weed right over there just sipping little olives I think it is so I've gone to a, a JT olive it's just barely breaking the surface some frogs fanny on there and make it float nice and high oh it's just taking beautifully just gonna watch him Okay, let's see if we can get him. Very tight to that tree. Will he come out for it? Thought about it. No, it's dragging out. Come on, just a little bit further. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh, I just dragged at the last moment. God, that's a hard cast. That's obviously why he's living in that hole. Not a small fish either. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, he turned away at the last moment. That's the one. Oh, he refused it. And again he refused it. He doesn't want that fly. Right, okay. Something smaller. I'm gonna to have to change fly. So I switched to a size 20 Griffiths gnat. We'll have a crack with that. See whether we can persuade him to eat this. God, I can't even see that. See if that works. Come on. It's gonna drag, it's gonna drag just as it goes past him. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, I think I'm gonna cry. Oh well, I suppose we got him to eat That's something. God, that was a big white mouth. I think he's gone back under the bush. <sighs> right, I'm being properly schooled today. No bad thing. Let's try and find another one. Really nice fish just tucked in on the other bank. He's risen two or three times. I'm just gonna try him with a little Griffith snap.
quite far enough. at it, flash down his left hand side, that's the one, Ooh. no dice, and duck, quack, oh no, 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 Gotcha. Awesome. I don't know how the hell I'm going to land this, and I've just seen a whole pocket of massive fish in here, which is really distressing because I'm going to spook all of them to land this fish. Can you break out of it? Come on. Yes, I think we're nearly free, we're nearly free. Oh, I can just feel the leader squeaking on the weed. There is an absolute hog in there though. Size 20 Griffith Nat does it again. Oh, I think it's a wild one. It is, it's a wild fish. What an absolutely stunning trout. Look at the colors on this. Just beautiful. Here we go, go and sulk. Oh, fabulous. There's a big puddle of big fish in here, in this hole. Oh, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's a biggie. Oh, that's a biggie. That's not gonna be a happy fish. Ooh. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh. This just seems to be the story of my day today. Just creeping up here. I just found another big fish in the next pocket up, doing exactly what the other one did. Let's see if we can persuade him to do the same thing. Yes! Ooh, angry fish. I think it might be a bit deeper in here. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Oh!
vaguely back under control. Come on, let's just go straight for the net. Oh, he's in the top of the beak. Stay just in the top of the beak. Stop thrashing around like that. It makes me nervous. It makes me very nervous. Come on. Such strong fish. Yes, another absolute stunner. Beautiful fish. Nymph's already out. Slip him straight back, I think. Okay, off you go, bud. Thank you for playing. Yes, yes, yes. Well, that really was super cool. To see him just hanging in the back there behind that weed fawns. He was literally just hanging in that hole probably about six inches behind the, the fronds, just waiting for things to drop off uh, as it comes down the current. Just put the nymph in, just slowly eased over and smashed it. Oh, so exciting. What a battle too. Oh, just, I'm loving this. This is extraordinary fishing. Onwards and upwards. We've still got so much more river to cover. So, when it comes to the fact that I've now got a completely saturated fly, first thing I do is use my amadou, give it a really good blot. It takes out most of the water. And I go into my secret pack. I've got my Shemansky Dry and Shake, which I've had since I was about 15. Give that a really good shake in there. And then finally, Frog's fanny, awesome stuff. This is really good, especially on CDC flies. This gets all the moisture out of the fibers. It does look a little bit like cocaine though. So you tend to go home with white fingers, which is a little bit suspect, but um, it's much cheaper than cocaine. I wouldn't recommend snorting it. But it is very, very good for drying out CDC fibers. Here we go. Then lastly, a little bit of Orvis mud or Fuller's earth or anything like that. Drag the first two or three feet through there. And then, good to go again. So the evening is upon us. It's now 20 past eight. And we've worked our way right up to the top section of this river, eat I should say. And we're waiting for things to happen. Last time I was up here, there was an incredible rise up here in the evening. It's pretty skinny though, and there's not a lot going on yet. Very interesting spot though. Much wilder up here. There's fish just beginning to rise up here. Tricky, tricky caster. Wow, 
Let's keep a very straight arm here. Not close enough in. So still, I love this time of fishing in the evening. Oh no, treed. Didn't keep straight enough. got a chance for one more it's going sun's going down very nicely there's a few fish beginning to move to some fly here and there's a couple of fish just rising up here so I'm going to try try the old blue winged olive emerger and let's see what happens surely yes whoa 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 <laughs> whoa that was an amazing take wow god that absolutely hammered the fly Steady, steady. God, it was tight in here too. Take my time with this one. It's holding hard down. It's pretty tight confines in here. It's quite difficult to get some side strain on him. Oh, it's a little rainbow. No wonder it hammered off like that. Excellent. What a pretty little rainbow. Right in the skizzers. I know, mate. We'll have you back in it in a heartbeat. No, don't wrap yourself in the line. There we go. Thank you very much. Don't worry. Easy, 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 easy. perfect way to finish an incredible day. It's been an amazing evening here at the town of Manor Fishery on the Kennet. I've really enjoyed myself again. It's just one of the most spectacular pieces of water. I've really enjoyed fishing with the old hardy. I think I might have to give it a name. I'm gonna to have to think about that. Maybe you'd like to give me some suggestions as to what I should call the old girl. In the meantime, as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one.